Bene, chi comincia? Nessuno? Ah, sì. Variale Mi Rai. Di... Variale Rai. Poi Giordano, Corriere dello Sport. Dan Giordano, Corriere dello Sport. Good evening. Eh, Guardiola anche nel dopo partire ha, ha detto cose importanti. Post match, uh, Guardiola said lots of important things about your team. He said that if we hadn't played uh, our best game, we wouldn't have been able to beat uh, a team like Napoli. So he was very impressed by your team. Having said this, um, are you a bit disappointed uh, because you think you could have done better or are you upset about the first half where Manchester City had an opportunity to basically uh, close the game? And then uh, what about Insigne? Are you worried about, uh, about him? Will he be able to play against Inter? Well, obviously, we have to divide the match into two parts, the first 25 minutes and then the rest. Uh, we uh, um, uh, had to play a very, very good team that caused us a lot of difficulty. It's a very good team because they are uh, technically a quality team uh, and they are also playing very well. They are in very good shape. Uh, so um, the first 30 minutes were difficult because uh, uh, they were very good but we made it easier for them uh, we didn't press them enough so they have some very good players when they've got possession of the ball uh, so they managed to uh, find their way around us very easily uh, so if you make a mistake against them then you're immediately in trouble then uh, We also have to, but then we also have to say that we uh, had some difficulties against a team that is uh, causing difficulties for any team uh, at the moment, but then we managed to fight back. And not many teams at the moment are able to uh, come back in the way we did and to um, cause some difficulties for Man City. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we regret the fact that we missed the penalty uh, in the, fir the first penalty, but we now know that we are on the right way to be competitive in Europe as well. Uh, as for Lorenzo, I hope um, uh, it's not, there is nothing wrong with him. He had um, uh, some uh, muscular problems, uh, probably just a bit of fatigue. Corriere dello Sport, just one question. Only one question for each. Corriere dello Sport, poi Tele Luna. Corriere dello Sport first and then Tele Luna. Sorry, but we are not speaking in the mic. Um, we can't hear the question. Uh, if by replacing two players uh, we can replace, the, we can change the way the team plays, the, it means that we've got everything wrong. It means that we are not competitive as a group and we cannot be competitive on any front. Um, I saw a team that was struggling initially, not two players that were struggling. Um, if Milik uh, had been available tonight, he would have been on the pitch. I'm not saying it to um, play down uh, the importance of uh, the Champions League, but it's just that sometimes we have to rest a player when they need to rest. If a team is unable to remain competitive uh, when it replaces two players, then it means that it's a team which has problems. I don't think that's our case. I hope it is not Tele our Luna case. Tele Luna and then Canale 21. But then, you know, we, we have to uh, find an agreement because if I play the same lineup for two consecutive matches, then I uh, get criticized. If I change the lineup, I get criticized. Uh, uh, you have at least to be consistent in your criticism. If you um, want to assess 
uh, the match uh, and not just the result. Do you think you passed this test, uh, especially compared to your expectations? You knew you were playing a strong team. I think so. If you um, if you watch the six previous matches from by Manchester City, I think you will reach the same conclusion. Canale 21. Congratulations, because uh, you managed to uh, leave the stadium with your head uh, held up high after a very difficult match. Uh, where do you think this uh, match uh, is placed on your uh, develop in your development? I think, first of all, we have to understand why we contribute. We contributed to uh, our struggle in the first 25 minutes. We made our own contribution, but then we also have to remember that uh, even after uh, missing a penalty, we managed to come back fighting. So. After this match, we must feel reassured, we must feel even more enthusiastic and even more confident. I've seen a huge step forward compared to the match in Madrid last year. In Madrid, we were lucky enough to score first. Um, here, uh, we had to come back into the game from a very difficult situation after the first 25 minutes. So, I think we have definitely uh, taken a step forward. Uh, you had to rest Alan. Alan is playing very well at the moment. Uh, yesterday you said that Rob uh, was a very important player for you, but today you prefer to use Alan. Uh, sometimes your midfield struggles a little bit, but you prefer to use Alan. Uh, well, we had this midfield and he played very well. He, he gained 48 points in 19 matches. Maybe at the moment they're struggling a little bit more, but uh, I here I had an issue, I wanted to defend well because otherwise we would be overwhelmed and I also wanted to keep possession of the ball. I wanted to have quality players that could um, create difficulties for our opponents. Um, Man City uh, is a team that is similar to us in many ways. So I wanted our midfield to have quality players in it to keep possession of the ball. Domanda dalla stampa inglese. Se può dire il suo nome. L'anno scorso lei ha detto che uh, non voleva assolutamente giocare believe that you should always play positive attacking football with a high line with the defense um, do you believe that you should always play like that we played very positive football uh, with the exception of the first 20 minutes but that was not our choice the opponents um, created a lot of difficulties for us and they pushed us back. But um, I looked at the stats for uh, this uh, match. Uh, we had four opportunities to score and Man City had five. So uh, I think this shows that we played positive football that we came here to play a good game, to impose our game, then some, obviously our opponents were very strong and they made it very difficult for us at time. I wanted to know how you, what do you think, what do you think about Mark Hamsik? 
why you have to um, grade the players. Uh, I couldn't stand teachers when they had to uh, give grades to us, to grade us. Uh, I had to put up with it. Um, I don't know. Uh, you said that your grades were a bit low. Your assessment wasn't that great, wasn't that positive. Well, maybe we were talking about the past. Uh, Hamsik um, played exactly how the team played. He struggled for the first 25 minutes and then he came back quite strongly. Uh, obviously, I had on the bench um, an attacking player like Onas, so I preferred to um, uh, have Onas on the pitch while other players were being rested. From what you've seen of Manchester that, City tonight, how do they compare with uh, the traditional favourites for the Champions League, like Real Madrid or, or Barcelona? Do you think they are serious uh, contenders to win the Champions League? Champions. I think so. I think so. As I said earlier, it's a great team. It has everything. Uh, uh, they're very quick, uh, they're tactically very savvy. If they stay in good physical and mental shape, as they are now, I believe they, they could really go all the way. Perhaps, Shakhtar was able to win away from home. So I just want to get your thoughts about your chances going through. Does that make the next match at home against the City a must win? I don't think so. In football, it's pointless to try and uh, uh, make accurate forecasts. Uh, our objective is to win the next three champions matches. Uh, if we win them, we will qualify. Uh, thank you very much. That's all. Good evening and good night.